I want to take another look at Sig Digger uh, now that I know a little more about it. The developer uh, actually provided me some feedback off of the first video, which I showed how to get it up and running. Uh, I was not uh, aware of everything that uh, Sig Digger can do. Uh, something I should point out, uh, Sig Digger being something that you would use uh, when you deal with a signal you don't know much about. And, and a lot of what I'm saying is uh, feedback that the developer himself gave me, and now it actually makes more sense. Uh, what I'm going to do is show uh, one of two modes of uh, capturing and further analyzing a signal. Uh, one being offline mode and then another being online mode. For this video, I'm just going to do offline on a Hunter fan remote that uh, transmits on or about 434 megahertz. But let's go ahead and pull up Sig Digger. You can see I've already set the frequency uh, in the area that I'm, I'm looking to capture here. Uh, I've also uh, set it up to have the RTL SDR as the uh, device here. I'm going to go ahead and run this program. You can see we can also move the uh, bandwidth filter in and out with the left click of the mouse here as well as if you come under ins uh, inspection, you can set the bandwidth manually here, as well as the frequency. I wanna take a look, uh, like I said, at the offline method of uh, further analyzing the uh, frequency here. You can either, one of two things, I couldn't, this is me, you know, transmitting in short bursts with the fan remote here. I could left click, hold down this hold button attempt to capture chunks of the signal release and then get into the uh, time view, uh, time window. What I want to try is this auto squelch feature here. So if I left click and hold it down, I should be measuring the noise floor here. If I release, now it's waiting for that transmission burst. Another thing uh, recommended is enabling this precise channel centering. But so if I go ahead and transmit, you can see it was triggered. Now it's going to automatically open up my time preview window here. Now I can start to do further analysis on the signal that I just captured. And if you have a mouse plugged in, you can use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out. You can uh, drag uh, with and left click with your mouse to uh, uh, basically do further measurements. You can see the symbols and the histogram up here of what I captured. Uh, let's see, the right pane uh, the developer mentions allows you to perform different sets of actions. You can do uh, measurements. You can, if you were dealing with uh, uh, Doppler measurements, you can pull up further information. You can come down here, you can change the colors. You've got carrier recovery. Let's see, you can do sampling and decision, and then you can scroll in and out on the uh, data that you just captured. The online method, you'd have to at least decide whether it was PSK, FSK, or ASK that you were capturing. And you could open the inspector and capture the signal live and do further analysis that way. I am not familiar with that yet, so that's something that I need to read once the uh, developer makes some tutorials and some documentation. And then one other thing I wanted to cover, uh, both in this window here, if you put your mouse closer to the bottom of the pane here, you can again use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out, which will help when you have your uh, band plans on, especially with the uh, HackRF and it gets really jumbled. You can see, uh, you can see it uh, more clearly. Uh, what else? So the panoramic display, if we, if we, turn off the radio, open up view, panoramic spectrum. You could do the same thing here. You can drop out of full device range 
set this to a, an air, uh, to a range that you want to look at. You can again have the band plans on and you can see how they're they're kind of smashed together especially with the hack rf so if you do the same thing here and you are scrolling in you can and it gets faster as you start coming down uh, you can see you can just keep scrolling in here so that's uh that's at least uh, showing you how to do the offline analysis with the auto squelch feature, which I, th I thought was very interesting. Uh, I just have to further educate myself on um, this more in-depth signal analysis. I mean, it, coming from GQRX uh, or Cubic SDR, I, I don't recall having some of this more uh, in-depth tools to look at the signal. So I, I find that very interesting uh, with Sig Digger, so I hope to learn, learn more about it and uh, uh, share, share with everyone else as well.